Dildos and cocaine. Just want to let that one sit for a second. Dildos and cocaine. That's the level we're operating on on this list. So if that's not your bag, you might as well just, just bail out now. Still here? Great. It's probably unfair to say that all Hollywood actors are self-obsessed egomaniacs because, let's face it, if you were getting $5 million per job, you'd probably be unbearable too. But with success comes excess. And with excess comes ridiculous stories about film stars demanding things like dildos and cocaine and live lobsters and ice bucket hats and custom thongs. And it's just, it's a really good one, this. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and these are the nine most insane demands famous actors made for movies. Number nine, Angelina Jolie demanded a movie studio pay for Brad Pitt's flying lessons. This is a flimsy one, but since it's the only flimsy one here, we'll get it out of the way nice and early. The story goes that Angelina Jolie, a legitimate millionaire, once demanded that a major studio fork over millions of dollars for her husband Brad Pitt, also a legitimate millionaire, to have flying lessons. So, a few things here. One, they are both millionaires who could easily pay for their own flying lessons. Two, flying apparently had precisely nothing to do with the production of the movie. And three, Brad Pitt was in no way attached to the film. That's quite mad. A heartwarming end to this story, though, as legitimate millionaire Brad Pitt not only owns his own Spitfire, but is now qualified to fly it. Aww. Number eight, George Clooney demanded a hot tub, custom beach hut, and private basketball court. This is George Clooney's face, and I am 100% convinced that there is not a single person alive who could say no to it. Which might go some way to explaining how he gets such lavish trailer requests granted. Despite the fact he was in gravity for a grand total of, like, 20 minutes, he still supposedly requested that a custom beach hut, hot tub, and private basketball court be built next to his trailer. Total cost of this? Around £100,000. Why pounds, I hear you ask? Because it was filmed in England, pretty much the last place on Earth you'd ever want to use a hot tub. The man is nuts, quite frankly. Number seven, Orson Welles demanded his costume is lined with mink fur. Fun fact for you, the last ever line that master filmmaker and cinematic genius Orson Welles delivered was in Transformers the movie. That has nothing to do with this list, I just really, really love that. Anyway, yeah, he was also quite insane when it came to film demands, and whilst filming The Black Rose, Wells demanded that the inside of his costume was lined with incredibly expensive mink fur. That's the inside, which was never once going to be shown on screen. He just really, really liked the feel of it and demanded the studio give it to him because he was a f***ing baller. Fair play. Number six, Will Smith demanded a double-decker mobile home and blocked out the sun with it. So, 100% true story, Will Smith rocked up to the negotiations for Men in Black 3 and said he wouldn't be happy while his greatest enemy still provided people with free light, heat, and energy. I call this enemy, he said to a terrified panel of movie producers, the sun. Retracting a huge section of the floor to reveal a model of the film studio, he went on to say that since the beginning of time, man had yearned to destroy the sun, but he would do the next best thing block it out with a massive double-decker trailer. But Will, they gasped, every plant and tree will die, owls will deafen us with incessant hooting, and the studio sundial will be useless. Yet their cries fell upon deaf ears, and Smith had his wish granted. Much to the displeasure, it should be said, of local residents, who did literally have to live in its shadow for the duration of filming. Number five, Paris Hilton demanded live lobsters, just in case. It's well known that Paris Hilton has expensive tastes. I mean, that's pretty much all she's known for, but you'd think she'd at least have been willing to rein it in for a single day. Mm, nope. When Hilton was offered a small part, and we're talking really, really small here in buddy cop comedy The Other Guys, she demanded that live lobsters were put on standby so that she could eat them during filming should she get a little peckish. She was on set for one day and required that a chef, live lobsters, and a tank to house them in was brought in especially just in case she wanted to eat them. I might be in love with her, I think, if I'm being honest. Number four, Bruce Willis demanded one million dollars per day. Short and sweet this one, Bruce Willis was asked to reprise a small role in The Expendables 3, a role it should be said that would have required him to be on set for four days. 
His response? Yeah, all right, lads, sure. It'll cost you $4 million. That's $1 million per day. Even by the modern standards of movie wages, that was considered absolutely mental, and he was promptly told to f*** off. Number three, Marlon Brando demanded his character wore an ice bucket as a hat and had his own personal dwarf. Look, I see you there. You're expecting this entry to primarily be me calling Marlon Brando crazy or making fun of how batch mental the production was on the island of Dr. Moreau, but no. You might think I'm going to laugh at the story of Brando arriving on set, putting an ice bucket on his head, and being so stubborn in his refusal to take it off that it had to be written into the film, but no. You might think I'm going to ask questions about the fact he befriended a dwarf and refused to act unless he was written into every scene, but still no. Instead, I'm going to say with complete honesty that if I am ever famous and wealthy enough to have all the logic of a toddler, I am 100% doing it. Number two, Jack Nicholson demanded dildos and cocaine. See, I told you. So during the making of Martin Scorsese's Oscar-winning crime flick The Departed, Nicholson decided that the movie should include a scene with A, a dildo, and B, his character snorting cocaine off an actress's arse, or Saturday, as I call it. Martin Scorsese, ever the pragmatic chap, relented to Jack's requests, to the point that you can see both of these things occurring within the very frames of the finished film. Is there artistic merit in going full method with a 12-inch rubber cock and a few grams of Bolivian marching powder? I mean, probably not, but who cares? Number one, Tom Cruise demanded custom-made thongs. I truly, truly wish I was making this one up, but no, here we are. According to a bunch of sources, Hollywood superstar Tom Cruise is adamant that whilst filming action sequences for pretty much all of his movies, he gets to wear a thong. Why exactly this tidbit has become public knowledge, I'm not entirely sure, but I sincerely doubt that there's anyone on Earth who enjoys the idea of Tom Cruise wearing a thong. There's just something... Ugh. So yeah, the zip wire scene in Mission Impossible, wearing a custom thong. Running away from aliens in War of the Worlds? Thong. Wrestling with the bad guys in Jack Reacher? Thong. Falling out of that plane in The Mummy? Thong. I do not feel well. Well, there we are. Every day's a school day, isn't it? And the school is absolutely f mental. Let us know what crazy demands you'd make in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I've been What Culture's Adam Cleary, and I'll see you soon.